Hey guys, Jacob here and today I want to talk about a very important topic that I've been requested uh, many times by you. So Amazon PII access, how to get the PII access, uh, what's the public developer profile, private developer profile, what are the differences, how many authorization kits you get, let's dive into it. PAI stands for personally identifiable information and pretty much um, this includes any data that can identify contact and individuals such as name, addresses, email addresses, phone numbers, purchase history, payment details. So all of the personal information that um, yeah you can pretty much get from the uh, Amazon and obviously uh, that Amazon is by default hiding. However, it is possible that you get those information, um, especially uh, on larger scale when you are running your own SaaS for the FBM sellers for fulfillment by merchant or actually um, if, if you create just the private application for yourself for your own business uh, then you also get this so let's maybe go to the documentation to show you uh, what kind of APIs are uh, being uh, restricted so yeah this is the terminology that you need to understand here those are the restriction operations so the most popular ones that are from uh, the order api here those get orders and get order information but you of course have more possible fulfillment shipping api you have also restricted reports uh, types those are types of orders that uh, you won't get actually a data there you need to have those um, permissions firstly set so let's go and jump uh, more into the details right now so first let's talk about the actual types of applications and uh, how you can do those things so first one is the private developer profile um, and private applications this means that if you are a seller you can uh, create the private application uh, developer profile I'll, I'll show you in a moment um, how and you can authorize uh, one connection which is your own shop and gather all of the data from there if you have private app, you can also get the PI access and you can gather all of those information that you need. You need to simply go through the special application that I'll show you in a moment and apply for that. Other thing is that uh, you may want to develop the SaaS platform and for that you need to have the public developer profile. Now there are also two types of the public developer apps. So you have public apps uh, that are unlisted, which allows you to have 25 authorizations. So if you are actually building MVP, this is a perfect case scenario that you can test your app with the first users, uh, or you have a public uh, listed app that is going to the Amazon App Store that you can uh, authorize as many sellers as you want. So let me show you this now in the Seller Central. So first of all, regarding the selling uh, partner App Store, if you list your app here, it's going to be a public app. And for the public app, if you want to have a PAI, you really need to have a case for this. There are just a couple of apps that got this uh, PAI access. It's extremely hard. However, we helped our clients to, to get it. One of the companies is, for example, OpenBridge. They actually have uh, PAI uh, data. You can actually do that. It's a very hard process to get, and I'll show you in a moment how to do it. This is the App Store public listed applications. Now, before you actually have this, you can also have public unlisted applications. So let me go to my seller central. I'm actually here. As you see here, I'm a public developer. I have a different apps. And uh, if I go check here, for example, I have 10 self authorization and 25 all out authorization I can still do, which uh, yeah, for the MVP is great. Now, let me talk to you only about the actual PAI uh, access on how to do it. So once you go here, click uh, view profile, you have this form. The most important here is that uh, you either are a private developer or the public developer. Those differences I just mentioned. Let's assume that you just want the PII data for your own. You click the private developer and then you are going to click all of those. I mean, it doesn't have to be all of those might be that you just need, for example, tax invoicing. Once you have those, there are more forms popping up and you pretty much need to answer all of those questions uh, very detailed. This is actually a pretty hard process. Amazon is rejecting uh, many, many sellers, many, many developers. We actually help at least 30 clients at this point get access to private PII information and go through this process. So it's very tailored for each individual case as you really need to answer in depth. However, it is possible much harder case if you actually are going to develop public applications with those um, PAI information, right? So as you see here, now I don't have many forms. However, if I'm going to select those, there will be much more 
uh, information that you need to fill. There's uh, actually extra steps. We also helped a few clients with that. Uh, this is much longer process. Unfortunately, uh, for this case, it can take even up to six months to completely finish it. It's much better to first create a private developer profile, request PA access and test your application with it. And then once it's done, actually switch to the public uh, developer profile. Obviously, not all of the apps can be uh, public listed uh, with the PAA access. You really need to read through the Amazon documentation or you can also contact us and we'll tell you if it's even possible for your SaaS to, uh, to get this access. Now, the last thing in the video is I just want to show you differences in the requests that have the access to the PAA data and that doesn't have this access and what are pretty much differences in the responses that you will get from the selling partner API. So first one, I'll show you here the actual response um, from the account without the PAI. Um, so as you see here, we, we, we got simply uh, state or region, postal code, city and country code and that's it. And now if you have fulfillment by merchant, uh, you may get the whole address. So let's go here. We got the uh, shipping address, so it's a state or region, address line one, postal code, city, country code, address type, and uh, the name. So you can directly send the shipping. So those are pretty much the differences between the responses that you can get from uh, Amazon. And that was it for this video. If you actually need any assistance with getting the access to a private PII or a public PII or just listing your app public, uh, publicly on the Amazon App Store if you're building the SaaS, if you get some struggles, feel free to reach out to us. You can go to our website, fill out the form or contact us directly at contact at deltalogic.com. We are a software. Uh, agency fully dedicated to build a software around Amazon for Amazon sellers, vendors, agencies and aggregators. So thanks a lot guys. Let me know also in the comments what would you like me to record next and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.